Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving question 18 from the second chapter of the Baron Johnson textbook. And previously in the channel, we solved the question 2.10, which is very similar to this one. I'm going to put the video for that specific problem at the end of this video. So it should be showing up on the screen at the end of this. Uh, feel free to check it out if you need to. And in this one, we know that the force P is 75 Newton and we have the angle alpha of 50 degrees. We need to determine by trigonometry the magnitude and the direction of the resultant of these two forces applied at the support. So if you look at these two forces, this is our horizontal line. We have the force P, which makes angle alpha in here. And we have the force 50 Newton on the other side, which we know it makes the angle of 25 degrees here and we know because this angle is 25 degrees these two are the same angle so both 25 degrees and the resultant would be the one that connects the tail of the first one to the end of the second one so this is our r and we also know the alpha is 50 degrees so we're going to use the law of sine and cosine but before that uh, we are trying to to find some angles in order to use the law of cosines and law of sines and if we call this angle here beta should be able that angle easy and the reason is that alpha plus beta plus 25 degrees is going to be 180 so basically our beta is 180 minus alpha which is 50 minus 25 so the beta would be 105 degrees and now we can use the law of sines and now we can find the law of cosines and now we can use the law of cosines in order to find the r so our r in here would be if we want to find the r we have r squared is equal to p squared which is 75 plus the other force 50 newton squared minus 2 times 50 times 75 times the angle in front of that side or r which would be the angle beta so we'll have cosine of beta which we found is 105 degrees so basically our r would be the square root of what we have in the previous step let's find that out so 75 squared plus 50 squared minus 2 times 75 times 50 times cosine of 105 that's going to be 10 0, 066 .14. and we have the square root of that answer, which is going to be 100.33 newtons. So we found the magnitude of the R, and now we have to figure out the direction. And if we do the law of sine, we can call uh, the other angle in this triangle, maybe uh, this angle here, gamma. Now let's see how we can find gamma. So we're going to use the law of sines and basically we have sine of gamma over this side in front of that, which is P. So we know P is 75 newtons equal to R, which we found in the previous step is 100.33 and the angle in front of it is beta or sine of 25, sine of 105 degrees. So we should be able to find uh, gamma in here so uh, if we cross multiply these two we have sine of gamma is equal to 75 times sine of 105 degrees over 100.33 and whatever we get for that one our gamma would be sine inverse of that value let's figure that value first so we have 75 times sine of 105 divided by 100.33 this is going to be 0 0.77722. So we have sine inverse of 7, uh, 0.722. So let's see what we get for that. So this is going to give us 46.225 degrees, but that's not the angle that shows the direction of gamma. So what we are interested in here is basically the angle that R makes with our horizontal. And if I draw our horizontal line in here, I'm going to uh, maybe try light blue. So this is our horizontal. We found gamma. We know this angle is 25 degrees. So if we find this angle here, which 
we know would be gamma minus 25 or if we found gamma 46.225 minus 25 degrees so that angle in there is going to give us the angle with horizontal so 46.225 minus 25 it's going to give us 21.225 so 21.225 degrees and if you want to show our r as the final answer in here we know we found the magnitude 100 points 33 so 100.33 newton and the angle that we found is the angle with horizontal so it was this angle right here which was uh, what we found in here 21.23 degrees so this would be the final answer for this question again to show both the magnitude and the direction by the angle the reason that we didn't go with gamma in here because gamma is kind of like a random angle in here that cannot be a reference for us because it's the angle between r and the 50 newton force which it makes much more sense our horizontal in this way hope everything was clear you should be seeing the answer for the question 2.10 right now on the screen and let me know if you have any specific problem from the textbooks that we are covering in this channel then we can cover it in the next videos and you guys take care i'll see you in the next one